Hello everyone, this is Ashwini Dashgupta from Chinta. In this particular series of videos, I want to have a conversation with students and parents and share with you some of the things that we do at Chinta classes. Maybe you can use them at your own home or when you are teaching someone or when you are learning something. This particular experience came up in a level 4 Math Olympiad class at Chinta just a few weeks ago. So level 4 Math Olympiad classes are for students usually in class 5 and 6 though some other class of students may also join. It's directed toward mathematical Olympiads such as AMC 8, American Math Competition 8, Math Kangaroo and similar contests like Australian Math Competition and so on. It's a very exciting stage of life. The foundational ideas of mathematics are in, an, in a formative stage in the students. There are a lot of things that we can do at this stage of life for the students. So we were discussing something called central tendency or averages in class. So you might think that averages are pretty boring because in a way, you just add the numbers and divide them by the number of numbers. But it, students actually got very surprised when they learned that there are multiple ways of taking averages. Collectively, these are called means. means. So um, the average that we talk about in general, that is add the numbers, and divide them by the number of numbers. That is a special case called arithmetic mean. Arithmetic mean. Or in general average. But there are averages called geometric means. Basically you multiply the numbers. Then you take the nth root. So if there are n numbers. You take the nth root of the numbers. So I'll give you an example. Suppose you have the numbers 4 and 6, 4 and 6, then their average or arithmetic mean is 4 plus 6 by 2, which is 5. Uh, 4 plus 6 is 10 divided by 2, the number of numbers is 5. If you take the geometric mean of it, you have to multiply 4 and 6, 4 times 6, that is 24, and take the second root because there are two numbers, so second root or square root of these numbers. So square root of 24 is a little less than 5 because square root of 25 is 5. So we experimented with a few pairs of numbers and we noticed a pattern. This pattern is taught more uh, systematically in higher classes, but in lower classes, in lower levels, we keep the mathematics as experimental as possible. Students should themselves observe certain patterns. So they observed that the geometric mean, the geometric mean is always less than the arithmetic mean. It's always less than the arithmetic mean. It's a fantastic observation. Some students actually came up with it when they were experimenting with a bunch of use cases. And then we try to algebraically prove this thing. So at level four, we formally introduce algebra. And this abstraction that geometric mean is less than arithmetic mean. This is one of the good examples where you can show the real power of algebra. After all, what is algebra? It is an abstraction of certain truths. The truth like geometric mean that is square root of a times b is always less than a plus b by 2, the arithmetic mean, no matter what a and b is. Uh, so no matter what the numbers are, there are certain truth, certain realities, certain truths about those numbers. And algebra is the way to write down those truths effectively. We do this over and over again. When we introduce algebra, we do it geometrically, but we also show that these are the facts about numbers 
that you can reasonably deduce and it works for all numbers it works for all numbers these these truths these facts work for all numbers so you need a better way to express them to write them down instead of using individual numbers so anyway when we were extracting the square root we also learned about how to methodically take the square root of a number if you think about it when division is taught we know how to long divide but when square root is taught in most cases they just use a calculator which is not nice because there is a al algorithmic way to do square root of a number so we also learned that in the class how to take the square root and we also talked about a little bit about medians modes harmonic means some other types of means that are there and their interrelation mode measure of central tendency is that if you are given with a bunch of data like a bunch of numbers can you somehow find a central number a central number one number that gives you sense of all the numbers one number but there are philosophically that's that so there are multiple ways of thinking about that one number so average is of course one of them geometric mean is another harmonic mean is another median is another so there are multiple ways of doing it when people learn these things for the first time and their interrelations there are twinkles in the eyes of the students it's they get very excited when they see that so many central numbers can be created mathematically and each of them mean different things we also talked about one problem where the average naturally comes out to be the harmonic mean not the arithmetic mean the regular average it's an arithmetic problem related to speed of trains running on railway tracks so that's a practical application of harmonic mean these kids were in class 5 and 6 some of them were in fourth grade some of them were in seventh grade they did really well in understanding the philosophy behind these central numbers and they solved those problems it was a really exciting time if you have ideas about uh, how to communicate mathematics to students please feel free to share that with us the link about chinta programs is also in the description you can check them out we are really excited about mathematical learning and research let us know if you have any queries okay thank you and i'll come back in the next episode with some more ideas about teaching mathematics and appreciating the beauty of numbers take care bye